What's up guys, in this short tutorial, I will show you how to optimize your Windows 10 PC for gaming. I will go over some important settings which can drain your performance and other useful tweaks you should apply. Everything you need will be listed in the description below. First of all, you should make sure that your operating system is up to date. In your taskbar search, search for update to open up your check for updates system settings window. Here, make sure to check for updates and in case there's a new update available to you, then make sure to download it. In your advanced options, make sure to disable all of these settings. This will make sure that automatic updates and update notifications will be turned off. While downloading the latest update, we will make sure that some important drivers are also up to date. Search for Device Manager to open it up. In your Device Manager, you can expand your audio inputs and outputs network adapters, USB connections, and so on. For each category, make sure that your main device's driver is up to date. Simply double-click the device you are using, in this case my headphones, and in the driver tab, select Update Driver and then search automatically for updated driver software. This will make sure that your device's driver is up to date. For your graphics card, I suggest using the GeForce Experience application if you're using an NVIDIA GPU, but you can also use the AMD driver suit. In the Drivers tab, simply click on Download and the application will automatically download and install the latest driver. Repeat this step at least a few times a year to make sure that you get the most out of your components. In the Home tab, you can access individual game settings, which can also be changed from here. Simply select details for the game you intend to play. You will then be presented with current in-game settings and with the optimal settings suggestion depending on your hardware. When selecting Optimize, GeForce Experience will apply the recommended settings to the game. You also have the option to use custom settings when selecting this wrench icon. Here, use this slider system to reduce some options and change your display resolution and display mode from here in case you're using an abnormal resolution as I am. When this is done, right-click your desktop and select NVIDIA Control Panel or the AMD equivalent application. In the Adjust Image Settings with Preview section, make sure to set this option to Use the Advanced 3D Image Settings and apply your changes. In the Manage 3D Settings tab, you'll be able to make changes which have a big impact on your GPU's performance. Make sure to enable image sharpening if you can and set the sharpen value to 0.5 and ignore film grain to 0.17. You should also enable the GPU scaling option in case it's available to you. This will enable you to use custom resolutions, especially lower ones for games which don't usually support it. Set the ambient occlusion to performance, anisotropic filtering to application controlled, Turn anti-aliasing FXAA to off. Enable the anti-aliasing gamma correction option. Anti-aliasing mode should be set to application controlled. Anti-aliasing transparency should be turned to off. CUDA GPUs should be set to all. The dynamic super resolution option should be turned off, unless you prefer to upscale your in-game render resolution. For low latency mode, Set this option to ON to get the most performance when playing games on your system. Unless you're running a low-end PC and you're unable to run games at 60fps, then set this option to ULTRA. Turn the MAX FRAME RATE option off when using a system which has no issue running games on a normal refresh rate, as you can cap your FPS in most in-game settings anyway. If you suffer from low FPS, then you can manually cap your max frame rate to your monitor's refresh rate to save some resources. Disable multi-frame sampled AA. Set the OpenGL rendering GPU to the GPU you are using, unless you're using multiple ones, and set this option to auto select. Set the power management mode option to prefer maximum performance. Below, set the preferred refresh rate option to highest available. Enable Shader Cache as well as Texture Filtering and Isotropic Sample Optimizations. Set Texture Filtering Negative LOD Bias to Allow. 
texture filtering quality should be changed to performance or high performance. In case you're using a low-end GPU, then set this option to high performance. Switch tree linear optimization to on. Threaded optimization should be set to auto. Triple buffering should be turned off. Turn off the VSync option and lastly, set the visual reality pre-rendered frames option to one and variable rate super sampling to off. Make sure to apply your changes. In the render resolution tab, select your monitor on the left hand side. Select to use the highest resolution available to you, which is usually labeled as native. Also, make sure to use the highest refresh rate available to you. In case you don't see a high refresh rate option, even if your monitor is capable of high refresh rates, then make sure to use the right cable to connect to your PC. In my case, I need to use a display port to use the 144Hz refresh rate option. When you're done and applied your changes, you can close this window. Make sure that your Windows 10 game bar is not draining your performance. Search for game bar to open up your game bar system settings window. Make sure to disable the background recording option. And in the captures tab, make sure to additionally disable these two options. These will only reduce your performance. If you wish to record your gameplay, then I suggest using OBS Studio or an external capture card if you lack performance. Next, open up your task manager by right-clicking your taskbar and selecting it. In order to reduce the CPU utilization from other programs, I suggest you to earn some programs from running in the background, which you don't need when playing the game. But make sure to only add programs from running, which you know won't break your operating system. In the Startup tab, you can additionally prevent programs from starting up on System Boot. In the Performance tab, select Open Resource Monitor. In the Network tab, open the processes with network activity. And after a few seconds, you will see every process using your network connection. This might be your browser running in the background, Steam or a download bottlenecking your connection. These processes should help you find out where network-related issues are coming from. And you can easily end some processes from running if you wish to do so. Before improving your network connection, you should disable overlays from other applications, as these commonly cause issues while in-game and reduce your performance. Most applications have built-in settings to prevent an overlay from showing up. In your GeForce Experience application, navigate to your settings. And in the General tab, you can disable the overlay. You can also prevent native applications from showing notifications. In your taskbar search, enter Notification and open up your Notification and Actions System Settings window. Here you have the option to disable all notifications from apps and other senders. You might not want to enable this option as some notifications could be important to you. Scroll down to enable and disable notifications from native applications to your liking. To improve your network connection while in-game, make sure to use an Ethernet cable to ensure the best possible connection. In case you have to use a Wi-Fi connection, then restart your router or a modem if you haven't done this in a while. To test your connection, I suggest using speedtest.net. Here you can preview your average up and download speed, as well as your latency. You can also throttle the download speed of most applications, such as Steam, Epic Games, and the Adobe Creative Cloud. In your application settings, such as Steam, navigate to the Download tab. Here, enable the Limit Bandwidth 2 option to what you prefer. In my case, I will set this option to 8000 kb per second. When this is done, we will change your DNS server address in case you experience network related issues such as a high latency or packet loss. Use the shortcut Windows key and R and in this dialog box, enter control and hit enter. This will open up your control center. From here, navigate to network and internet, network and sharing center and here select your connection. This will open up this window containing some general information about your connection. Navigate to properties and lastly, Double-click the Internet Protocol version 4. Select to use the following DNS Server Addresses option. And as your preferred DNS server, use 8888, 
and as your alternate DNS server, use 8844. These are the official public DNS server addresses from Google, which are safe to use. Lastly, make sure to delete your temporary files to free up some storage. Search for percentage temp percentage in your taskbar search to open up your temporary files folder. Files in this folder are saved by your programs and should be deleted from time to time. You can safely delete everything in this folder. Some files might remain, so just leave them there. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.